All right, that bird's got to go too. <laughs> All right, very selective on what birds we allow in our beats and not in our beats. You can't be a, a mediocre bird in this beat. Hello everyone, my name is Beautiful Beats. I'm a music producer and today I'm gonna to be doing Bucket Beats with Soundtrap. I'm excited. What's Bucket Beats? What is it? How do you do it? Well, I have my mother's coffee mug here with a bunch of pieces of paper that say different genres. Swirl it around, pick a genre, and we'll see where we go from there, what kind of beat we have to make. I'm excited, I've never done this before. Usually I just sit down and make the same thing every time, so let's see what we got. Okay, lo-fi. I make a lot of lo-fi, but we're gonna do lo-fi because it's fun. We'll make something chill, something you can relax to, maybe sip some tea or coffee too. So grab your coffee mugs um, and we'll have a good time. All right, here we go. What do we want? A little bit of lo-fi. Let's see what kind of lo-fi sounds they got in here. Okay, like we got some pianos. Um, hmm. Ooh, I mean, that one's literally called Lo-Fi Upright Piano. Let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, okay, that's gonna be nice. Yeah, all right, we're gonna have some fun. So, I like this upright piano for like an intro. The beauty of Lo-Fi is everything can sound kind of crappy, which is, you know, not a bad thing. So, this piano sounds very old, and then we'll kind of really fill things out as we go along in the beat. So, let's start with just like this old piano here and see what we can come up with. Oh, I need a metronome. I always forget the metronome. And let's make our tempo, let's do like 70 BPM, really slow it down here. That's very beautiful, if you will. That's the name, Beautiful Beats. Gotta live up to it. I don't always live up to it, but we'll do what we can. All right, I like these chords a lot. We're gonna keep it very raw and organic here. Just kind of like it's being played on an, in an old bar or a cafe or something. Maybe we'll quantize these notes. That is just, that's, that's very nice. That kind of makes you want to fall asleep. So we'll keep on that sleepy lo-fi vibe. Um, all right, so just to kind of build out our track a little bit, we have this track, right? So let's go ahead and duplicate this. And we want to keep our same MIDI file we got. And then let's go here. And we're actually going to change this second piano to something a little bit different, something a little more full and not as old sounding. So let's just start building out a little bit here. Let's duplicate this track. Awesome. All right, so let's maybe pick a different sound here. Let's go to instrument. What do we got? Let's just make this like a normal, let's make this a Rhodes. What does that sound like? Very nice, very chill. That's what we're looking for. Let's do another one here. So I'm layering these sounds to make it more full. That other one's gonna be real like thin and these are gonna come in really full and it'll be very appealing to the ear or pleasing to the ear. So um, let's go with this upright piano. So it's just the non-lo-fi version. Yeah, that's beautiful, awesome, love it. Cool, so let's now let's listen to how this kind of comes in here. Let's start building here. What more do we want? We got to have birds, like birds are a necessity or like some coffee shop stuff. Um, what do we got? Birds are cool. They just, they just get to fly everywhere. Right. Yeah. So a big part of lo-fi is we really want to build like, we just want to build like a whole world around this track. Like you're just sitting outside. I don't like that first bird, unfortunately. Sorry, dude. Quiet. All right, we got some birds in there. Let's try, let's get like some hi-hats in just to kind of set our groove here. So this drum loop is actually at 90 BPM. We want to stretch that. Oh, so to stretch here, you just click here, click option. 
and then you stretch. Stretching is good because it kind of like messes up the sound a little bit too, which makes it sound even cooler. So let's see what that sounds like. Kind of those lazy hi-hats. That first bird is just way too melodic. It's like he's trying to steal the show, so we're gonna take him out too. We just want light birds in the back. All right, that bird's gotta to go too. <laughs> All right. Nice, those birds are good. All right, cool. Maybe we'll add like a vocal sample. That could be fun. It also could be catastrophic. So. We'll see what happens here with this vocal sample. Um, I can't sing, guys, so this would be a nice little, it could be either really funny or it could be a problem, but I'm gonna show you guys how to kind of make some cool vocal samples, even if you can't sing, like me, so that's a plus. Add new track, let me go with microphone. Got some headphones here. We want, we want some, some reverb, reverb, and I'm just, I'm gonna, just gonna, gonna kinda like, like hum, hum some, some stuff. stuff. Like, like I'm, I'm just, just gonna, gonna be like, like mm -hmm. Even, Even though, though I can't, I can't like, like sing, sing. So, so give me a couple, a couple of takes, takes here, here, but. Na, 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 da, da, na. Wow. Some are calling me the songbird of our generation, but. Also, some are not. So, here we go. What do we got? Um, we'll go, we'll go auto -tune. auto tune. Cause, cause, cause we need it. That is, that, is, that is no secret. We need the auto tune. All right, now let's go voice transformation. Let's pitch ourselves up an octave. Give us kind of like that chipmunk feel. But let's see what we got. All right, here we go. Oh, come on. I mean, it's perfect. Are you kidding me? All right, I take that back. Definitely the songbird of our generation. All right, here we go. What do we got here? Let's, um, actually, let's even layer this again. Let's have all three pianos going together. Bold move, but it should work. Yeah, okay, that's way better. Layering is like incredible. It really just makes sounds way bigger, way fuller. All right, next move. What's our next plan here? So we definitely got to get some more drums. I know that. All right, I'm not minding the kick out of the Latin kit. Let's get another track in here. Let's find a snare that we like. <clears throat> There's the lo-fi kit. Yeah, see, that's my fault. All right. Okay, I like this. Let's get our kick in. I always like to do my hats and my uh, claps or snares first, um, and then I can kind of just feel out the kick. All right, so our kick doesn't have to, it can be like kind of spaced out, especially with lo-fi. It's a little better, we'll take that. Just gotta feel it out, feel the, feel the groove. This might be a big risk, low reward, but we're gonna try to put some guitar in there. Have some fun, why not? We're doing bucket beats. Bucket beats is about having fun, okay? That's what this is about. First half was solid, so we're gonna keep that. All right, let's see what that guitar recording sounded like. Hopefully not bad. I think it'll be all right. Actually, I don't even want the kick and the snare during this part.
All right, so we'll leave, we'll keep the guitar and we'll keep um, kind of these other elements just for that little part right there. And then we'll actually go and bring it all back in together. And that'll kind of be like our kind of big moment at the end a little bit. I think it turned out pretty well. Just classic lo-fi stuff. I think it sounds great. Um, we got some vocal samples, we got some guitars, we got some chill drums, we even have some birds. Okay, what more do you want? Piano, birds, guitar, drums, vocals. That's lo-fi. All right, here we go. And maybe if we like wanted to, we could build it out even further, but I think that's pretty good for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed some bucket beats. Um, shout out to Soundtrap. I had a lot of fun being in Soundtrap. A lot of things you could do that I wasn't even sure that you could do. A lot of things there. Um, I had a blast. So thank you guys for tuning in.